Hey everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones as House Sentinel. I went forward in the hopes that we would finally come of age. Uh, that has not happened, but as you can see, we are now a trained fighter. So our training is, is uh, well, going its way. We're getting better and better. Also, our stats are looking pretty nice so far. I'm just very happy on how uh, my Regency has went. This is probably the smoothest Regency that we've had um, ever. Now, uh, as you can see, we are actually betrothed, and that is uh, to our friend, the Lady Celise Tyrell. I think this makes so much sense. We've grown up together, we are obviously we're friends, and she is actually the daughter of my vassal, the Lord Paramount of the Stormlands. She's the firstborn daughter, and you know, he's married to my aunt, so now I continue. We continue the alliance with House Tyrell that has worked very well um, so far. So we're gonna marry the Lady Celise Tyrell uh, of the Stormlands. So so yeah, that's very nice. She's actually being educated by Lady Cassandra. I've changed her educator, um, but somehow, hmm, somehow she has her old educator again. It doesn't really matter all that much. Now, uh, what what happened? I gave out a couple of uh, castles. I've continued to spend money to build castles in well, especially Seaguard, Mark's End, and Sentinel's Point. Uh, so we've finished another castle here. Actually, no, I've just given out Hunshelf. We had that castle before, and I was finally able to give it out, and I decided to give it to Sir Aegon Worth, because his father, Master Clayton, lost the city of Pitford, and then uh, I decided that Houseworth should still have a castle, or sh should still have a holding, so I decided to give them that castle. And then another castle finished construction, and that was in Sentinel's Point, a new castle of Elsica that has just happened, and I've decided to give... Harold Banraid a second chance. Now, uh, they have. House Banraid has actually risen up against the. Uh well, the rule of the Sentinels twice, but it was always weird. Th there was always strange things going on. Um, and, you know, I, I never actually wanted them to lose uh, Erebor, which at that point was still Martlet Bay. Um, but they just left my court, so there was nothing I could do. But now that actual ban has, uh, has died, he died uh, two years ago, uh, I decided to give Sir Harold a second chance. But this time, they're obviously not lords, because they need to be punished somewhat. Um, so I made them mere knights, and they can serve Lord Arily, Sentinel of Sentinel's Point. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, those are the two castles I gave out. And... Uh, yeah, I think I think I was pretty much it. Well, there is one big thing, one very big thing. Look at the direct vassals, the North. So um, basically, right after um, the the Lord Connington, the Lord of the Riverlands, won his war. Uh, you remember that uh, he actually had to give up the Riverlands, and then the North rose up in rebellion to put the Starks back in control, and uh, that actually, well, that worked. Um, so we have Lord Madden Connington. So Sir Jared, he was actually, oh wow, he was tortured. That's not good. He actually was forced to abdicate um, in favor of his son Lord Madden by the Lord, uh, Lord Wyman Manderley, the drunkard of White Harbor. And then they are fired, uh, they fired another faction that wanted to put um, Lord, well, actually not him, Lord Child Stark um, as, as the Lord of the, of the North. And he eventually joined that war as well, and so they easily won because, uh, yeah, the Connectans could not hold uh, the North. And so, yeah, now the North uh, rules the Starks, rule of the Riverlands, and uh, the North, but they only have the castle of Stockworth, which is very interesting. He also broke his marriage, or maybe she did. Mariah of Rosby was actually married to Child Stark, so they could have potentially taken over more lands here, and they would have really... Um, well, basically, they have the capital right next to me in King's Landing. That's kind of funny. I've never seen that. Um, but yeah, let's quickly look at this again. They're really, they've really taken a lot. They have Dragonstone. They have uh, the Whispers. And obviously, they have all of Rosby and Stockworth. They're really biting into my crown lands, which obviously makes me weaker. Um, but that's okay. As long as you hold Pike and Summer Hall, it's not all that bad. Um, so yeah, uh, also, as you can see, the Starks have... Uh, they have given up Riverrun, which is very interesting. I thought they would have made at least Riverrun their new capital if they cannot rule from Winterfell. And uh, nope, they have decided to give Riverrun to the Umbers, who have probably supported them in all of their wars. And unfortunately, they no longer hold any castles. We have a uh, Rizwell here in Last Hearth. Uh, we have uh, Lyanna Crowell in uh, Last River. And she's also the uh, High Lord of Last Hearth. And the Seal Shore is ruled by a Flint. So yeah, the Umbers, as... 
as true loyal vassals, they now rule from Riverrun. So that's very interesting, that's all that has happened. And I've come back because we have the uh, chance to imprison Prince Newt Greyjoy of the Iron Islands, um, well, of, of Saltcliffe, and we're gonna do that. Once and for all, this guy is just, he's pissing me off. He wants to, Im to install himself in the Iron Islands, and I just don't want that to happen. So, yeah, we're gonna imprison him, and it has actually worked. That is interesting. We'll see what we do with him. And, uh, yeah, also, this war has concluded. So now, uh, Edric the Monstrous, he actually rules... Um, let me quickly show you this. He actually rules over Stone Tree and Hala Hill. So, House Hala is very weak. They only almost have no men left. And uh, so the strongest power in the Iron Islands is now Lord Adrek and House Good Brother. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what we do. But they have actually given up... Oh, they've actually given up these two castles. Hala Hill, who, who holds it? House Reaver? And who holds Stone Tree now? House Fallen. Okay, so they're not as powerful anymore as I thought. Okay, that's cool. Um, but let's just continue. Let's just continue. Okay, and we can now decide what we do with him. Call him for a trial, Prince Newt. I think we should do that. Yes, we will do that and see what happens. And we can educate. I don't know why my mouse is very slow at the moment. That's kind of annoying. Okay, my aunt. I can find an education for my aunt. She is... Oh, what the heck? She is uh, timid, affectionate. Affectionate, curious. Um, so yeah, that makes sense. Let's go with the diplomatic uh, education then. Very nice. Alright, so uh, Prince Newt has demanded a trial before the court. Lady Alice shall oversee. Uh, he begins to present his defense, and the court seemed captivated. That's not good. Uh, okay, Lady Alice, come on. My grandmother, you can do it. Many were convinced by her arguments, but then again, many seemed unimpressed. And he's innocent. Well, I have no choice but to release him. I, although, she is quite stressed, she's cruel, but yeah, still, I think I have no choice. Alright, so he has been released, that's very unfortunate. I might, I might be able to imprison him again at some point, but that's okay. He's not that big of a threat, he doesn't really have many men. Uh, but at least, uh, during the short time of the imprisonment, he was forced to leave that faction. So that's good. The Crown Loyalists, look at this, House Tyrell backing the Crown. So yeah, it, it, it's really good to, to side with them. And there he is, once again, claiming himself, um, well, yeah, trying to get himself on the throne. Alright, who's this? Crescent Peasbury. He wants to... He wants to become Hand of the King. No, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Why would I make you Hand of the King? Hmm, whatever. And uh, what happened here? Liege Loyalist Faction. Yeah, the Sentinels are loyal to my uncle, Prince Harry of Seagard and Mark's End. He made Mark's End his couple, actually. He has three kids. Prince Maribald. Then there's Hurston. And then there is Lyman. Okay. Very good. Very nice. Let's have a look at the other houses. Obviously, there's another house sentinel here. They have tons of people as well because uh, Lord Erily has chosen his seduction focus. Yes, you... My humble spy master keeps annoying me. But Lord Gelwood of Erebor, he actually exiled one of his kinsmen and sent him to the wall. I don't know where he is. I cannot find him um, in, in the tree. Actually, you know what? Let me quickly show you this. One of them was sent to the wall. I don't know who, though. I think it was Shara's? Yeah, this one. Byron Heldwolf, he was sent to the wall, so we shall see what happens. Um, winter is coming to an end. Okay, that was not really a difficult winter, so that doesn't really affect me all that much. Uh, other houses that we have... Oh my god, what is going on with my mouse? That is really annoying. Um, so we still have Jonquil Lancaster, Lancaster here, of uh, Sea-Watch. Okay, and then she has her my cousin, Alton Lancaster. He's the heir, he's strong, married to a lowborn, and Artis Lancaster as well, nice. Then we have, I think that's all the castles, we're building another one right now. Um, then this I've already shown you, in Mark's End, Pitford and Silkstone is still hold by Adragion, but they obviously also hold uh, Cape Kraken, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was, that was the one they rule. Yes, House Adragion rules over here as well. Um, and... Then we have the castle of Letwell, that is ruled by Benedict the Broken Stick. And then we have the castle of Hun Hunshelf, Houseworth ruling here. Very good for them. Uh, House Loxley, still in Loxley Hall, Gwain. Uh, he was depressed at some point, but he has recovered, it seems. Um, we have the Blue Fork, Lord Hector Blueclay, after Tenton died. 
Then uh, Eredor I've shown. Graveshand, we have Lord Galben Justice. His heir is the Thien Justice, and she's married matrilinear to Jason Lannister. Oh, wow. There you go. Um, Derek, you are married to a fork bastard. And, yeah. Then we have uh, the Cooks. Lady Amina the Able still kicking. Uh, Elian is married to Burton Bainford. Then we have Tanya Cook. She's married. She was married to a Loxley, and then to Tanton of the Blue Fork. So she was married to a Loxley, and afterwards to a Blue Clay. Very interesting. And now she's not married at all. Um, then we have Leighton Cook. He's married to a Black Tide. Yes. <laughs> and Axel Cook married to a Templeton. And before that, he had a Piper Girl. All right. And Derry, we have Josua Fork. He married a. Badix. Hmm, interesting. Badix bastard, but that's okay. I think that was all of the custom houses we've had so far. Obviously, in Summer Hall, we still have House Fleetwood, and obviously House Theodosius ruling from Oldwick, our master at arms. And he has two daughters already. Good for him. I hope I did not forget anyone, but I don't think I did. Well, we'll have a proper overview, uh, obviously, at the end of this, of this series. Uh, maybe someone of the Kingsgate. No, I don't think so. I don't think I had anyone here. Okay, Queen Loxley now died a natural death, okay, and there Derek has taken over. Good for him. Now, also, I should mention that uh, the last member of House Charon has died. Owen Charon, he died actually before our castles was finished. I couldn't give it to him, but he was old already. So, uh, yeah, he, he died, and with that, another house became extinct. But, uh, you know, he decided to leave my court, to, to leave the, the Sentinel court. His house decided to do that, so, you know, there's not much I can do for them. And now my Lady of the Kingsguard died, Teresa of Boros. She was, you know, she was appointed to the Kingsguard, but they never had to do anything, uh, which is kind of funny. Uh, okay, so a new Kingsguard has been chosen, so Reginald Serret. Okay, he's not really that good. He's one of the weaker Kingsguards I've seen. He uh, is also celibate and homosexual. He's a bit paranoid, brave and zealous, but only a trained fighter. Hmm. Okay. What I'm amazed at is that Luke Commander Robin of Brindlewood is still kicking. 87 years old. Uh, yeah, 87 years old. That's just amazing. That's really amazing. Never seen such an old king's guy, I don't think. Um, and there goes my um, my Lord of the Kingswood, my Master of Coin. He was uh, he was doing a good job. And uh, he's no longer a treasurer now. Okay, who has taken over? Lord Wendell Fossaway. And Prince Nemo Martel has died as well of severe stress as Hand of the King. Yeah, I can understand. It's it's quite stress stressful to run a kingdom, although I guess most of the work is still done by the regent, Lady Ella, my grandmother. But yeah, okay, so a lot of deaths here. Let's see, um, we can actually pick a ambition for ourselves. We only have Rowdy, so I guess that's the only thing we can go for. We only have one, so we're going to go with the martial education here. But we also have quite a lot of learning as well as diplomacy. So just our stewardship is not that great. But uh, maybe our friend will be... No, she's more an intrigue lady. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and choose a new Hand of the King. We could choose our Lord Command of the King's Guard, um, the Lord Paramount of the Vale. The problem is he they all have a good stewardship, but they don't really have much... Diplomacy. I think I'm going to go with the High Septon, in fact, because he's really good in diplomacy and his stewardship is decent. And the rest of these people are not good. I would have gone with either of you, but you you'd, you'd just lack too much diplomacy. So yeah, the High Septon will be the new Hand of the King, will oversee the province here. And as Master of Coin will... I guess Master of Coin will pick uh, Joffrey of the Vale, yes. And you will collect some taxes here. You are about to marry my other aunt, Tanessa. She's my friend, if I remember correctly, yes. Very nice. So yeah, it does make sense to give him that council position. And there's a new commander spot open for Brian Weirstone. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? You actually have a lot of marshal here, so we'll give that command to you. Nice. And there's a couple more titles we can give out. A Warden of the North is obviously uh, Lord Paramount of the Riverlands and North, Child. And Master of Hunt we can give out, as it guess as Master of Hunt. I will appoint maybe Prince Daggers of Dawn. He's a craven, two cravens. Maybe Luke Paman of the North and... Hmm. I guess I'll make you Master of Hunt. And Master of Horse will be... 
You, my master of coin and warden of the east, or the prince of dawn? No, I think you. I'll go with you. Court jester is still Uruk Black Tide. He is uh, amusing the court. Amazing. Well, in King's Landing, you visit the Dragon Pit, where once the beasts of Old Vilia were bred. The great pits and crumbling walls filled your mind with fantasies, if only the dragons still lived. What if there is still life in these old stones? Oh my god. So this was, I think, the first of the Dragon Law events that we have had. Um, so that's very nice. That's very nice. Uh, we can have a couple more. I, I think that you need to go to Old Town. Uh, the Smoking Sea is not available to us, at least. Well, actually, it might be. We might still be able to get there. Um, then we have Old Town. I think we have somewhere... Summer Hall would be good. And then I think maybe the Ratgrass Field. Was it the Ratgrass Field? No. The Field of Fire. I, I don't know. Anyways, let's just continue. Uh, my mother, or my grandmother, will uh, choose my education. Okay. So, uh, I was going to spend highly. F 400 gold! Wow. But, you know, I, I feel like that, that makes sense. For King, we want to have the best education. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna let us cost that. Wow. Well, we're making money back very quickly, so that's okay. We did change... Oh, my father, I, I should say. Luke the Amazing. Uh, no, my grandfather. Oh, God damn it. So confusing that uh, my father died uh, so early. Um, but, yeah, he made a lot of changes to the uh, obligations here. So, yeah, we're making more money. We're getting less troops, but we're making more money. Okay, um, right, any factions? No, not even the crown loyalists, but I guess they're just not necessary. Yeah, Prince Newt, I can imprison you once again. No, no longer, ah, too bad. I'm just waiting, I'm waiting to pounce to uh, imprison him. And there's the crown loyalist faction once again. Yeah, I don't know, sometimes it, it has, they, they do it, sometimes they don't, it, it keeps changing. But yeah, I should not be uh, too concerned about that. Alright, so money is coming in, and we are 12 years old. We're nearing uh, the end of our education. There was a plot. Whatever. But this is nice. We're, we're going to marry our friend, uh, the Lady of the Lord Pound of the Stormlands, and of House Tyrell. We still have our pacts, I think. These two non-aggression pacts. We even have a pact with the Lord of Riverrun. Oh, that's through my mother, I believe. Um, yes. Not too sure. Two people elope. Pierce Fell and Mariah Dalt. Ooh, she's the heir to the castle of Lemonwood. Hmm. Well, we'll accept their marriage because he was my father's ward. And uh, he's actually my master ships. So, that's that's nice. Florian Torell has been... Actor Ashford. What is going on? You've been released. Ah. Luke Commander Damon Bracken. He looks like a Targaryen, actually. A low commander is some lowborn that I don't know of. Maybe we'll have a Helldwarf here at some point. Commander Paxter Swift and Roland Whitman of New Gift. Hmm. Okay. So when is this uh, castle being built in Seagard? It should be soon. In August. August will have a new castle here. And I've decided to give this new castle to House Wheelstone because they've been uh, the commanders of our gold cloaks for two generations now, I, I think. And I, and I feel like it's just time for them to have a castle of their own. So yeah, we'll probably give that to Brian Wheelstone, although I could give it to Eden. No, he's only three years old. So yeah, Brian, you will be the one I give this castle to. Um, you could actually assemble... Oh, you're a commander currently. You're commander of the Iron Throne. Yeah, but yeah, we'll, we'll, I will give you that castle. And then, I guess the next castle we'll build will be here in Pike. And then, after that, we kind of run out of space. So, we shall see. Uh, Galben Graveshem has just died, so now Lady Lithian Justice has taken over. But she already has a son, Byron. Okay, good for you. And he died after appearing out of illness. And Carol Sentinel is trying some stuff as well. Hmm. Many Sentinels. Many Sentinels around. Okay, you... There's some usurping going on in the Reach, but that does not really concern me. Luckily, the Peasant Revolts have ended, so there's there's nothing going on there. <sighs> okay, so all that we need is come of age, have a son, and maybe a Valyrian Steel Sword. That is uh, basically what I'm uh, now hoping for. 
and we might want to break so basically th th there's two really powerful houses at the moment we have obviously house tyrell um they have two branches one ruling the reach one ruling the stormlands and then we have house stark that is ruling in one person over uh, the north and the riverlands and now we have just finished building that castle here so let's quickly give that out to the person that i've uh, just named brian weirstone there you go i'll grant you this title the castle of raw marsh there you go my council will accept very nice and now i'm just gonna have to make sure that i will transfer vassalage here otherwise people might get mad there you go awesome all right so uh that means we need a new commander mm, let me quickly see maybe we can pick one of our uh custom characters kyle of R kyle fleetwood of raven glad now he's actually a pretty good commander andron at Karen would also be good, but I think I'm gonna have to go for Sir Kyle here first. Yes, he's a little bit better. But anyways, uh, that will be the end of this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.